sometimes I get emails that are really, really good. So I thought I would make this really short video just to respond to this one. If you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. When you leave comments, it helps people. And this is just a good email. So the person's name is Nick and the subject is economics. Hello, I am a 16 year old interested in economics. So far I have taken algebra one and I have taught myself applied calc one and two. I am getting through learning the actual calc one and I'm almost done. However, I am worried about math in college. I don't know when to use things like the substitution rule without being told to use it. I want to study economics, but I'm worried I won't pass the math tests. So first of all, let me just say that this is a great email. Why? Well, Nick is 16 years old. He has a genuine interest in learning something, which is economics, which is awesome, I think. And he's already taking algebra and he's taught himself applied Calc 1 and Calc 2. So I think that says so much about your ability, Nick. That is just incredible. It says you're getting through learning the actual Calc 1 and you're almost done, but it sounds like you're having problems with the substitution rule. I mean, I think that's awesome. I think the fact that you've already made so much progress is incredible and you're only 16 years old. I mean, I didn't learn calculus until I was like 25. So the fact that you're learning it at such a young age puts you ahead of a lot of other people, including myself. Not that it matters being ahead or behind other people, but you're 16, <laughs> you're teaching yourself calculus. That, that's really incredible. I mean, where are you gonna be in 10 years? That's really impressive. As far as the substitution rule, I know exactly what you're talking about. For those that don't know, Nick is talking about something called U substitution, which is used in calculus. So my advice would be to actually just keep practicing and keep doing what you're doing. If you don't have a book, get a book. I have, uh, here's a book here. Here's a good book that you can get and you can find a copy used. And it's not expensive, it shouldn't be expensive. This is one that I believe is used in India. I think um, some of the subscribers from India have mentioned this book or they mentioned it in the past. It's called Thomas Calculus. And this is very similar to other calculus books like Stewart and uh, Larson. Uh, it's been out for a very, very long time. It's got to give it a whiff here. And it's got great exercises. So this is a college level textbook. You're 16, but I think that having access to a big, thick book like this is critical because this has everything you need for calculus one, calculus two, and calculus three in college. So if you have a book like this and you're working through it, I think that's awesome. And I think if you get stuck on substitution, you know, try this. Also try looking at my videos. I have uh, some videos on substitution. I have an entire playlist on U substitution. I probably have over 20 videos there and probably over a hundred videos on the channel here where I do uh, substitutions. It, it takes a little bit of work. Uh, you know, whenever I've taught Calc 1 in the past, that's a subject I think that it, it gets people. People have a hard time going through it, knowing when to use it. Um, so basically, I'll make this brief, but when you're doing a U substitution, U is going to be your inside piece. So typically, if you have a square root, usually it's what's inside the square root. If you have something being raised to a power, usually it's what's inside that, that parentheses. If you have like one over something, it's usually that something on the bottom. It's usually some inside function, right? Because it has to do with uh, the chain rule, right? That's, that's basically where it comes from. But yeah, it's, it's a great technique, it's important, and it does take people some time, even, even after you recognize, you're not gonna wanna hear this, but I'll tell you, even once you know what substitution to make, that's actually not the hard part. Like once you know what substitution to make, in my experience, people have a really hard time following through with the substitution, you know, changing this integral from you know, a variable x to a variable u. That whole process, that process of u substitution takes people a little bit more work. And I know that when I've taught Calc 1 in the past, it's, it's been something where you know, I spend a whole lecture on it because it's so much work. So don't feel bad if, if you're struggling with that particular thing. It's, it's gonna take some work. But yeah, 16 years old, Nick, and you're already, I mean, you're teaching yourself calculus. Um, you have a goal, you wanna study economics, that's great. I, I knew a guy who uh, was like you, he wasn't, I don't think he was 16, he might've been 16 or 17. And he was in college, this guy. Um, and he was taking like seven, eight classes. 
and he wanted to get a PhD in economics and a PhD in math, and I think he wanted to get a PhD. He wanted to do everything, and I don't really know him that well. He wasn't really a friend. He was just a, a pleasant acquaintance. I, I, I liked him. Uh, nice, nice person. I talked to him briefly, and I won't mention his name, but um, he works at a very reputable school now. He has his PhD. He does research, um, and, and he had that that mentality that that's kind of like yours. You know, he was self-teaching, uh, learning at a very young age. Uh, I remember he, I think he struggled in college at first because I mean he was so young, and he was just doing so much. So it, it sounds like you, except you're in high school and you know you're, you're doing all this stuff on your own. So. Yeah, I think that's awesome. But yeah, get one of the big books. One of these big books, like the one by Thomas, is a good one. I just happened to have this one here. I think I was looking at it the other day. And you can get a used copy. I'll try to leave a link in the description um, so you can check it out if you're watching this video, Nick. And Oh, I have courses, obviously. I have an entire course on integration um, on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Go there, and the courses are on Udemy. So... Um, but please go through my links, and those courses should help you. There's assignments and solutions and all that stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, calculus is is pretty cool. And the fact that you're learning it um, you know, at, at such a long, young age is absolutely, absolutely incredible. It just, it just really is. You know, I, I didn't really learn math. I mean, I, I took some math, like multiplication table type stuff and some basic algebra in high school, but... I didn't really start learning, you know, about like equations of lines and stuff until I was 24. So I got a very, very late start. So compared to to you, Nick, um, this is this is really impressive. Yeah, says you're worried about math in college. Uh, try not to worry. You know, there's this saying, you know, worry does really nothing. There's really there's no point in worrying. You're 16. You still have so many years. And uh, you will definitely pass your math. I think you will pass your math test. Now, I'm not saying, you know, don't worry, give up, and just go play League of Legends all day, which I kind of want to do. I want to play League. I haven't played in a while. But, you know, still continue the effort. But enjoy high school. And at the same time, um, you know, keep studying, keep working on it. Economics is a really cool degree. Um, it's something that I never studied. And it's something that I wish I would have studied. And it's it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I'm interested in finance. I love finance. I have a lot of experience with finance, but it's not something I ever ever formally studied, especially economics. So yeah, if anyone else has advice for Nick, uh, you know, leave a comment in the comment section. I think that uh, it's impressive. You know, it's impressive. If you do you have stories like this? Are you doing self study? Um, I think that starting at such a young age is really impressive. You know, it's really cool that you're 16 and. Um, you're doing some serious math. So yeah, anyways, ranting, just a great, great email I wanted to answer because I know I don't always get to answer all the emails here on the channel. So I thought, let me just make this quick video to answer this for Nick. Good luck, Nick, and you're doing awesome. And if anyone has advice for Nick, leave a comment below. Keep doing mathematics.